Nothing Can Frighten a Bear, Elizabeth Dale, illustrated by Paula Metcalf. Deep, deep in the woods were the moon shining bright. Some bears snuggled up in their beds for the night. There was Mommy Bear, Daddy Bear, Grace, and then Ben, and Baby Bear, too, who lay dreaming. But then, uh, as Baby Bear jiggled and wriggled some more, he suddenly woke when he heard a loud roar. Help! Baby cried. There's a monster about. He's coming uh, to get me. I just uh, heard him shout. Don't worry, said Mommy Bear, uh, stroking his head. There aren't uh, any monsters. Let's go back to bed. But Baby Bear whimpered. How can you be sure? I can't sleep till I know what uh, made that big roar. In uh, that case, said Daddy Bear, grabbing the light. Why don't we go looking for monsters tonight? You'll see that there's nothing so scary out there. And any way, nothing uh, can frighten the bear. So five bears went uh, marching out through the tall trees. And mom heard a noise and cried, everyone freeze. So the bear stopped. Could a monster be near? But out of the darkness, there uh, trotted a deer. You see, daddy laughed. There's no monster out there. And anyway, nothing uh, can uh, frighten the bear. The little bear said, we're as brave as can be. But uh, no one saw mommy get caught in a tree. So four bears went uh, striding out into the night. When Ben saw a splash and squealed there on the right, they stopped and they stood on a slippery log. Then out of the water, there hopped a big frog. You see, Daddy left. There's no monster out there. And anyway, nothing uh, can frighten the bear. Keep going, said Daddy. There's no need to scream. But no one saw Ben slip and uh, fall in the stream. So three bears squelched on down a thick, muddy track. When Grace said, what's that? Something brushed past my back. Perhaps it's a monster, said Baby. Oh, no. But out of the darkness there swooped a black crow. You see, Daddy laughed. There's no monster out there. And anyway, nothing can uh, frighten the bear. They splashed and they splashed and they tramped through the muck. But nobody noticed that Grace got stuck. Now two bears were sleepily wandering on. They uh, still hadn't noticed uh, the other side gone. The lamp gave a flicker and started to fade. Uh, I want to go home, Baby said. I'm afraid. All right then, uh, said Daddy. Let's uh, get you to bed. There aren't any monsters. It's just uh, as I said. I told you that nothing can frighten a bear. But uh, then he looked around and saw nobody there. But uh, where are the others gone? Daddy Bear cried. I thought they were here, walking right by our side. Perhaps they decided to go home to bed, or maybe a monster has got them instead. Then out of the darkness, a shadow appeared. Oh, no, Daddy cried. This is worse than I feared. Quick, take my paw, baby, and hide behind me. There isn't just one monster here. There are three. Just look, they're so fierce. How their scary eyes stare. Now that is a sight that can frighten a bear. Oh, baby, he shouted. We must run away. But just then the scariest monster roared. Hey, poor daddy bear froze and cried. Baby, stay calm. But baby bear giggled and said, that's my mom. You silly, said mommy bear. Surely you see. We may look a mess, but it's Ben, Grace, and me. It's you, Daddy cried. Oh, how s silly I feel. I thought uh, for a second that monsters were real. So five bears went home feeling ready for bed. We'll all stick together this time, Daddy said. Deep, deep in the woods, with the moon shining bright, the bears snuggled up in their beds for the night. Then suddenly everyone looked all around. For something had just made a strange growly sound. I'm sure there's a monster now, Baby Bear cried. 
No, baby, it's you, all the others replied. It wasn't a monster that scared you before. You woke yourself up with your very own roaring snore.